How's it going, Scorpio? Thank you so much for checking out my channel here at Reflexive Moon Tarot. My name is Sarah, and I am happy to be hosting a general reading for you. So without further ado, let's get into this. Whoops. Technical difficulty. <clears throat> there we go. Let's get into this. So... I know a lot of good Scorpios, I know a lot of shady Scorpios too, so I hope I pick up on the good ones, and if I'm reading you for filth, well, you know who you are. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have strength. Who was it that had this as their first card? It might have been Virgo, or actually, I can't remember to be quite honest with you. I think maybe Taurus. Anyways, same thing. So maybe we got the devil. Damn. Strength crossed with the devil. So taming your inner beast, your inner primal instincts. Uh, because... They are tying you down. <clears throat> tying you down on some level. Hmm. Like, what does tying you down look like? Is it like tying you down? Like, are you into bondage? Is that your jam? Like, let's try to be sex positive here. But at the same time, like, uh, moderation is the name of the strength game oh and i'm getting like vertigo right now something's making me dizzy there's some ones making you dizzy <laughs> all right justice overlooking the situation it's reversed so there is like some injustice happening so for all you shady scorpios out there are you doing an injustice to yourself are you participating in shady activity what the fuck quit it your addictions are strong perhaps even with these three cards happening uh, for the less shady individuals, perhaps you are doing yourself an injustice by allowing yourself to be tied down by uh, compulsive behavior, addictive behavior. There could be someone that you're addicted to, some type of emotional connection that you may think is valid, but it just isn't. It's not, and it's not working. Like the devil is ruled by Capricorn, which has to do with, you know, Cap a Capricorn, a positive Capricorn trait is that they're very hard workers. They're very dedicated and they're very grounded earthly beings. So when like that just gets to be too much, it gets out of hand. That's when it starts to look like addiction, basically in a nutshell. And when you think of hedonism, like you can go to gross places with hedonism. Who is, like, are you exploiting anybody in your activities? Yes, then, you know, it's like you're creating a scenario of injustice. And subconsciously, like, shit's gonna, like, you're gonna come to some type of realization, probably that you fucked up. But also, like, if this is, like, if you're not engaged in any like wrongdoing this is just you coming to like now they i'm not really a fan of aa but sometimes you know like there is truth to that rock bottom moment right no offense to people that are like you know surviving and thriving because of the 12-step programs like all the fucking power to you but and sometimes those are play, like really great spaces that you need to have, like that you can benefit from, we can benefit from. And it's just a matter of like, for how long and are you going to start engaging in like the craziness that goes on sometimes in those places? Not craziness, but just, you know, get a room full of people that are unhealthy trying to get healthy. There's going to be some unhealthy shit you got to move through first. It's, it doesn't always look pretty, but sometimes it is very, like it's quite remarkable and moving. 
So those are the those are the memories to hold on to if you do check out a 12 step deal. And we have sad the six of cups reversed. So moving from a place where you like you really miss somebody, you really miss old friends, you miss old times, like the good old days are a memory in the distance it feels like. You're just like the fun that maybe you had at one time doing the things that you love to do to have fun are not just are just not fun anymore. Weren't like you were really starting to realize that that is the case in the recent past. This also could be that you've lost some some close people that you've known for a really long time or you just really feel like that um, sort of kindred spirit vibes are a thing of the past. And I feel, I, I understand what that feels like. It's, it's kind of a, like a definitely like socially being stuck between a rock and a hard place, but I really feel like it's important also to know that uh, you know, you, you can make friends, you can make close uh, soul ties at any stage in your life. People do it all the time. It's just, it's hard to, sometimes it can be really hard to see that as a possibility if you've been alone or feeling alone for a really long time. So let's figure out how we're going to turn that frown upside down or figure out some deeper shit that you need to examine. Either way. <laughs> We have the King of Pentacles reversed. So someone is really I don't know, the King of Pentacles is quite the ruiner when it comes to wanting just really spreading unhealthy behavior. They will spread that shit like a weed, like weeds. Uh they are Sometimes, like, really, they're a hustler. They are, like, a kingpin kind of hustler. Like, they got some they got some thieving game happening. And this is a person that you're just going to have to come face-to-face -face with in the near future. This could also be, like, a um, father figure. Like, if your father has been not, you know, like a, a deviant, I guess you could say, for lack of a better term. But I don't know, like, such a subjective way of being when you think about colonization and the things that people are forced to do in order to survive and thrive right like it's very it's a lot of subjectivity going on in the world of organized crime like who's really who are the true criminals here so either way you are going to be dealing with somebody that is not trustworthy that's for sure so be mindful be mindful of that. Uh, the Nine of Cups. So you really just want to have a good time. And you're like, you're good with even the most fabulous me party to have a good time. And that's going to be your saving grace right there. Quite the amazing attitude. It really, uh, overconsumption though, is something that, you know, celebratory, it, celebratoryism is, you can, you can, do it a little too much, but also, like, I don't know. <laughs> You'll know when it's enough. It's your, that's your, uh, like, use your own discretion. You're the boss of yourself, basically. And if you're having a good time, you're good with the way that you're having a good time, and you do you. And this is such a really great point to be at, because it really is, like, the point... This is something that you want to hold on to. It's the point that you are, that like everybody wants to stay in as long as possible because it is the point before you reach complete wish fulfillment. Basically, that's, that's it in a nutshell. All right, and others see you as being like going through some type of mental, post-mental breakdown, post-mental, um, like, cycle of change, like, a huge cycle of change. Like, you've been through some massive 
battlefield type of action and you've been through some shit. You've learned how to curb your anxiety. What else? <coughs> Find your voice. This is also just in within your environment. People see that something just needs to fucking come to an end already. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel good. I hear silence. I feel silence. It's like empty. Queen of Cups reversed. So you are kind of dreading this could be an individual within your in your life who's been very emotionally manipulative, who's messed with you a great deal. If this is you, if this is an aspect of yourself that you're afraid of taking over, um, it's an inability to nurture your emotions and to also be nurturing and supportive of others. That's not healthy. But new ideas are on the horizon. Life. New life. A new spark of hope. A new spark of um, growth and renewal. A new way of... Basic... A new cycle of feeling... A new cycle of pleasure and enjoyment as well. Like we have... A card that is ruled by Venus so thinking about cycles and cycles of life like usually the Empress can also be about like women's cycles birth like maybe there's a child on the forefront ah <laughs> also congratulations um, and also the cycle of Venus is nine or ten nine to ten months can't remember how many like 260 something days um, so that might be something that's relevant so time wise look out for the next nine months or just look at look out for the times when uh, Venus switches from morning to evening star and yeah that may be when like the birth of your new ideas come to fruition so with that Scorpio thank you so much for checking out my channel uh, if it does resonate please do hit that like and subscribe for the next read happening eventually and we'll see you next time. Take care and bye for now.